Panthers, Adventures in Paradise. Starring Gardner McKay as Adam Troy. Beach. Guest stars, Marilyn Maxwell. Reed Morgan. Simon Oakland. Fuji. With Henry Slate as Lovey. Brought to you by... What'd you find out, Skipper? No damage to the hull or keel. Good. Maybe she'll lift clear when the tide comes in. Then we could back her off with the engine. The propeller's bent and the shaft is out of line. Oh, great. Even if we make radio contact, it'd take a rescue ship ten days to get here. Of course, we could light her. Pull her free at high tide. Have to do something. If the heavy surf comes in, it'll only wedge her tighter against these rocks. That's right. I'm all ready, Adam. I want to help. Good. We can use all hands. Ah, Skipper. She's a girl. Oh, I didn't think there was any doubt about that. But physically, I'm very strong, lovey. All right. We want to get rid of some extra weight. Why don't you go below and gather all the loose gear around the ship and pile it in the main cabin? Lovey and I are going to try and figure a jury rig and... Would you mind translating that, please? Yeah. Well, we're going to try and secure a block tackle on that rock out there and run a line through our own capstan here. Huh? <laughs> You'll see. Anyway, Lovey and I are going to try and pull her off the rocks at high tide. Well, that explains everything. You'll make a sailor out of me yet. Down too long. 
Are you worried? You worry about us, not him. Two months, no gold. Six weeks, no schooner. You so smart, where are we going to get fresh supplies? Raw fish is a delicacy in our country. I found it! I found it! <laughs> gold! It's just like Curry said, Briggs! Gold! It wasn't going to get away. I had a good hold on it. Oh, sorry, kid. But when you're thinking about nothing else for 18 years, you can't take it in your stride when you made your strike. You know how it is. Isn't that true, Cody? He is impulsive, Randall. It is a thing not to be. Well, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, kid. Sure. I'll dive in again. That'll cool me off. You guys head back to shore if you want to. I'm not greedy, but I got to get my hands on one more bar just to make sure that it's all there. Someday he won't be coming back up. I think it's better that Randolph stay alive until we have made full use of him. Then you'll see I do not worry about him. Yeah. <laughs> I told you you're a girl. I told you I'm strong. I got that way from running broken field between the joints I sang and the fellows who walked me home. This is no job for a woman, and you're not a longshoreman. <sighs> Look, when we get out of this, I'll be Lily Montego again. No talent blues singer. But today, I'm Lillian Mott from the farm in Joplin, Missouri. Uh-uh. You've done enough work. Why don't you rustle us up some food? Okay. For you, I'd rustle anything. I got almost everything over the side, Skipper. This crate has to go, lovey. Weighs over half a ton. Ah, uh -uh, Skipper. That's 2,500 bucks worth of generator. This is 35,000 bucks worth of ship. I'll tell you what, we can hoist it up and leave it on those rocks over there. When the boom comes around, pull her slow and easy. Gotcha. All right, lovey. Pay her out. Keep a tight line, lovey.
Let's see if you can move your legs. It hurts. I know it hurts. We can take care of the pain, but we'll need a doctor for the rest. How bad is it, Adam? At the very least, he's got broken ribs. He might have internal injuries. Oh, poor guy. You'll have to stay with him. You ever given a hypodermic before? I only got up to fixing hot milk in my first aid course. I'll, I'll do anything. Just two more lousy bars. Are you trying to say that's all there is out there? I'm saying that's all there is now on the floor of that lagoon. What about it, Curry? I had to detail a prisoners load four crates of gold aboard that small boat. When the airplane strafed them, they dropped one crate in the lagoon. The boat made a run for it. It sank somewhere between here and the outer reef. i tell you what I think. I think he spotted the gold all right. He brought us up three lousy bars and staked out the rest for himself. You think anything you like. We know he has a big mouth and talks loud. All right. We'll just go out there further and take a look around. Hold it. I told you there was a big drop-off 100 yards beyond where I was diving. So, there's a drop-off. So, it wasn't in our agreement to dive beyond a reasonable depth. I think the stuff is over the shelf. And I'm not going to go looking for it with a face mask and lung. We need a ship, we need full pump equipment, we need full deep sea diving gear. And that's that. The whole Pacific full of beach bums would break their rotten necks for a shilling and we wind up with a chicken face. You make a difficult task impossible. Now I must go after him with soft words and beg him to dive again. If I can bring him back, you will smile, Briggs. If you do not, I will be happy to chop a smile on your face. A large one, from ear to ear. Now, chum. Are you 
sure no one lives around here? This is the atoll I think it is. No one's lived here since the war. It's worth a try. Look, if you're worried about him, forget it. I'll take care of him. Go ahead, look around. I don't give him another shot unless he asks for it. And he will. Seems like only a couple of days ago on Talao, you walked down the dock and bummed a ride aboard the Tiki. Yeah. I was stranded and broke and scared. I'd had it. And then you gave me a lift. Yeah, well... Well, now you're giving us a lift. How can he stay down there so long? Perhaps he will not come up at all. Ah, uh, knock it off, will you? Maybe he found those gold boxes. Hey! Hey, you two on the beach. Ah, uh, hey, just hold it there a minute, mate. My name's Adam Troy. I run a schooner called a Tiki. Oh, brakes. Uh, this here's Corey, my partner. How do you do? I think something refreshing to drink for our guest. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Mind my asking? Partners in what? Oh, uh, just a little pearl shell, cobra, anything that comes to hand. Captain? Oh, thank you. What about yourself, Captain? What are you doing here? Oh, my ship went aground in the blow last night. Oh. I lost a man overboard, and my mate's badly hurt. He needs a doctor. Doctor? We ain't even got a witch doctor on this rock. Nobody but us. Who put you ashore here? Island schooner? Uh, that's what we've been waiting for, only she ain't showing up. Uh, everything around here is played out. Well, now, look, if you're willing, I'll, I'll give you wages and passage if you help me pull my ship off the rocks. We could do each other a service. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you guys! There's something down here, but I can't get to it. Uh, uh we got a visitor, Kelly! Uh, yeah, yeah, he's our uh, third partner. He does our diving. Well, now, do you think, uh, think we can do him a service, too? Well, why don't you ask him? I think I will. All right, hey, Troy, I tell you, we'll get our gear together and we'll go on ahead. Now, where'd you say your ship was? Yeah, well, she's right across the island in the lagoon. You can't miss it. The uh, lagoon? Yeah. Rand won't talk. He's got as much at stake as we have. And he's got a strong back besides. Come on, let's get the gold. Do you know anything about Admiralty Law, Curry? I was a prison guard. <coughs> Military policeman. Remember? Yeah. I remember. Kelly said we needed a ship. Well, there's a nice little Admiralty Law I learned about in the Merchant Marine. It's called the Law of Salvage. The law of salvage. For once, we're going to be legal. Randall? My child. 
Jones must have told you that. Yeah. Where'd he hit it? I'll make it quick. I'm Adam Troy. I can't get my schooner off the rocks. I asked Briggs and Curry if that helped. They said yes. Big hearted. I said they agreed to help, will you? What's in it for them? We'll get to me later. Same as everybody, wages and passage. Well, you know, salt water sure rots this stuff. Make up your mind. Okay, okay. It's good for them, it's good for me. Oh, you don't mind if I put on a pair of pants, do you? Huh? Go ahead. Mind my asking what you're doing out here? What my partner say? Copra, pearl shell, whatever you can lay your hands on. That's a good answer. Just, uh... Healthy curiosity. Oh, I don't mind, Troy. If I'm gonna play Atlas and pull your ship off the rocks, you got a good right to know whether or not I'm from a good family. You just tell me what you want me to know. How about the U.S. Navy out of Arizona? Did my hitch. Came back home and found I'd fallen in love with a siren called off Pacific. So I had to go back and see if she looked any different out of uniform. And she didn't. You know, that sounds very much like the story of my own life. Yeah, except that you're a solid citizen with his own ship. Now, children, the question and answer period is over. And we'll all sing songs until recess. Lead the way. Black coffee. Feeling low as can be. It's driving me crazy, waiting for my baby to maybe come around. Mm. Well, Troy didn't say nothing about you. That's funny. He hardly lets a moment go by without mentioning my name. <laughs> she is amusing as she is pretty. Uh, uh, John Briggs is my name. Uh, Yashikuri. I'm Florence Nightingale, and this is Jack Horner. There's something wrong with his thumb. <laughs> Did Captain Troy see you? The captain met us on the far side of the island. He told us of his unfortunate circumstance, and it is our pleasure to serve him. Oh, I hope he knows what he's doing. Come on, Tori. Let's look her over. Why don't you wait for Adam? Why didn't he come back with you anyway? You're a suspicious young woman. He asked us to precede him. He'll come soon with our partner. Come on. Well, ain't that a beautiful sight? All hitched up and ready to go.
Where are your little helpers? Lily! Lily! Hey, you did a good job on that hawser and chain rig. Now all you need is a little muscle. Yeah, well, the tide's ebbing out. We won't be able to do anything till morning. Lily! <coughs> this is the mate I was telling you about. Just trying to be helpful. Adam! Oh, am I glad you're back, Adam. Lovey's fevery. Hi, Lily. Well. It could only happen to me, getting shipwreck and meeting up with you again all in two days. Do you know each other? We were madly in love. It was spring and the birds were singing. She was fresh and innocent. And I was young and eager. You were eager, all right. <laughs> Just to keep the record straight, it was Manila. I've never felt a wetter rain, and even the birds weren't foolish enough to be out. I thought about you often, Kelly. Not always with the kindest thoughts. Well, you'll have plenty of time to talk about it. Let's find your partners. They're aboard the Tiki. Kelly! I knew you'd wind up in bad company the first day I saw you. Did they give you a bad time? Nothing I couldn't handle. I've met a few like them in my day. Hold it, Troy. Stay where you are. What's the idea? I said, hold it! What's on your mind, Briggs? Just a little matter of salvage, Skipper. Salvage? Sure, Skipper. According to the law, this ship ain't yours anymore. You went ashore and abandoned her, didn't you? Abandoned? I went ashore to get help. Don't matter why, she's a derelict. You're a liar. She's moored to that rock. She's moored. Well, that'd be your word against ours, wouldn't it? What's he talking about, Adam? That is, if anybody ever took the trouble to pick you up to testify. I'm coming aboard. Next time, it'll be a little higher. Don't be a fool, Briggs. Even under salvage loss, floating a beach vessel doesn't make her yours. I still would not try to come aboard. We will send the rescue ship. We're wasting time. You, Randall! You with Troy, you're still with us. Well, the way I see it, looks like there's more butter on their side of the bread. Kelly! Reporting for sea duty, sir. The easier, the better. Captain Troy's problem has become our own. Three strong facts. We got a name. In a couple of weeks, we'll be back here with all that diving gear your little heart was crying for. <laughs> hey, Briggs. Did you mean it when you said you were going to leave them here? Just two out of three. Now, back to Adventures in Paradise. We're um, almost out of this stuff. There's another bottle in my cabin. going to leave us here. Maybe. Mm -hmm. 
Adam. I'm scared. I got a terrible feeling. They're gonna kill us. They're gonna shoot us down before they go. Lily! What can you do about it? I don't know. That no good, rotten, dirty louse. Randall. Yeah. No good lying. He'd even double-cross himself. Go on, talk about it. Get it out of your system. Would I like to? Go on, it gives me time to think. He breezed into my life and then breezed right out again. I didn't know I had anything special going for him when we were together. But I sure knew it when he walked out. I felt like killing him, not just waving goodbye. Now I really feel like killing him. If you could get to him. Yeah. You thought of something? There's a rifle in that cabin, too. Under the bunk. Skipper. Skipper. Don't try to talk. Don't listen good, Troy. Get out of the way, Randall. Stand clear so I can get a shot at him. Get out of the way! Randall, get out of the way, will you? Let me get a shot at him. Come on now. Randall, get out of the way, huh? Don't shoot, Briggs. Get out of the way. has a strong back, too. We don't know yet if we can float this ship ourselves. Well, how are you going to make him? You just threw our gun overboard. I don't need a gun. Go below.
Fellow. We'll throw him overboard. It will clear his head. I run up against some tough guys in my day, but he can really punch. You have a job, Glass. I'm going ashore and get some fresh water. Watch this stuff off. You may encounter Troy. Would you like that? No, I wouldn't. And I'll be looking out for him. Listen to me. I've done my listening. Now I'm talking. I was in love with you, Kelly Randall. I was in love with you. I want to say it now because I want to hate myself for letting it happen. There isn't time. There's all the time I need. I've already said it. If I could, I'd kill you here and now. There isn't time for that either. Someday I'll let you get your belly full of hating me. But not now. <laughs> I fell in love with you, too, you know that. But I was scared. Scared of somebody wanting to own me. So you ran out on me. Now listen to me. Troy's got to trust me. I'm on his side now. His side? Huh? And your side. Oh, I still think you're a liar. I told you, Lily, there's not time for that. They're going to kill Troy and the mate. And then Briggs and Curry are going to fight over you. Where do you come in? Going to play odd man out? Shut up, Lily. Listen to me, you've got to tell this to Troy. Every word. Every lying word. All right, every lying word, but you tell it to him. And you let him make up his own mind. Okay, Kelly. You tell him this. Briggs is down below, Curry's on deck. I'm going there now. Whether he trusts me or not, he's got to. You hear me? Troy has got to be near the tiki when the trouble starts. What trouble, Kelly? I don't know. But I'll think of something. And it'll be trouble enough. You got it? I got it. Every lying word. Sure, Randall could still be lying, but why now? They could have killed me right there on the deck. Oh, I still wouldn't believe him on a stack of... You hate him. That's what's influencing you. Oh, I don't know. I, I guess so, Adam. I told him I loved him. I did, too. I still do. Briggs. Briggs. Hey, what? Keep it down. I gotta talk to you. What's up? I'll make it quick. Curry made me a deal. What kind of a deal? My services as diver and all the risks involved in bringing up the gold. In exchange, I get a full share. Plus a cut of your share. My share? That's right. And half the salvage claims on the tiki. You want to better that? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. How do I know I can believe you? You trust Curry? Next question. Why am I coming to you? I don't trust you, Briggs, any more than you trust me. But I trust Curry less. It's just that I'd rather tie up with you, that's all. You need me, Briggs. 
and I need you. What do you say? Where do I talk to that chiseling ape? Hey, Curry! What are you pulling? What's this deal you got with Randall? Deal, my friend? Yeah, deal. Cutting me out and cutting him in. You stupid fool. I ain't too stupid. I can't smell a double cross. Pig! Hold me long. I ate your prisoner now. Come on in. No, my friend. You're not my prisoner now. Troy! Troy! It's me, you know? Take it easy. Kelly Randall reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> I'm glad to have you aboard, Mr. Randall. <laughs> out of our teeth. It's got a hold. Get back.
it's a crime. All we need is the diving suit and the air pump. The government will do the diving, then it won't be a crime. What about the three bars? That's salvage. They're gold reserve, too. Two out of three? Uh-uh. One. None. That lovey. What happened? He asked for a date our first night ashore. He wants to take me dancing. Lily. Uh, lovey can't go the distance. I'll be in port for a while. Look me up. <clears throat> I'll do that little thing. Make sure you do it. 